Well, um, hey guys, so it's been a while. Um, I haven't uploaded to this channel in about six months now. Um, just been up to stuff really and I didn't really have time to do stuff and I was running out of ideas. But I am back today with some more Forza Horizon 4 videos. Now, I made three, I believe, uh, Forza Horizon 4 videos. I made uh, initial thoughts, a full review and then a sort of a... A return to the game after a month with further thought but um, if you got the full version of the game just like me um, it actually tells you that part of that deal is expansion 2 now we already have expansion 1 in the form of Fortune Island so expansion 2 is imminent but what is it going to be well let's go over some ideas that many people have proposed and I'll just discuss why I don't think that's going to happen, and I'm going to show you what my idea is. So, let's get into it. Okay, so the first idea for another uh, expansion that people have had is the Isle of Man, which, if you those of you who don't know, is a small island uh, small I island in the Irish Sea between Ireland and the UK. Um, it's fairly small, but uh, because of its size, people tend to think that it could be replicated quite authentically. Now... The, it does seem like a good idea at face value, you know, there's roads, tracks, a big mountain, coastlines, villages, everything you could need for an expansion, but, you know, one, we already have Fortune Island, we already have a proper island expansion in the game, so having another might be a bit repetitive and, you know, you don't want rep repetition really. And the second thing is, when it comes to motorsports, the Isle of Man is known for motorbike racing and not car racing and because you don't have bikes in Forza Horizon 4 it wouldn't make too much sense. It's just sort of like, I don't know, it's weird. I mean, yes you could have the motorbike TT circuit race in the game but I don't know, it just doesn't seem right to have cars on it and not bikes but uh, there you go. I mean, it's still a plausible idea, they might twist it around and put a, a fresh spin on it but I don't see them doing that. Now the second thought that people have had is London. I mean it's an obvious choice, it's the biggest city in the UK. We already have Edinburgh but London, although it's another city, would it is completely different but I don't know. I feel like trying to recreate Edinburgh would have been fairly easy to them because the pretty much the only proper famous monument is the castle and that's a centerpiece to the city in the game whereas London you know you've got Big Ben you've got Buckingham Palace you've got the Houses of Parliament you've got the Eye the Shard you've you know if you're gonna try and even recreate London even partially authentically you've got to try and get all those in and of course um, it costs you know to get all these landmarks it's gonna cost um, and I don't know They've either got to put the money in to make it authentic, or they've got to make a knockoff London without all these landmarks, and that wouldn't be fair, I don't think. And also, if it was a London expansion, um, it'd be, I don't know how they'd make that into a coherent map, whether it'd be an extension of the original map, um, I don't know, but... Yeah, London, it's a good idea, it could still happen, I guess, but me personally, I don't honestly see it happening. So, what do I propose instead? Well, my idea, I've, I've tried to flesh it out a bit. Um, now, a lot of you may think, you know, you've just talked about the fact that having the Isle of Man uh, as well as Fortune Island would be repetitive and what you're proposing, well, what I'm about to propose, I guess is sort of just an extension of what we already have in game, but I feel like they could put a spin on it, you know, uh, they could think up a new thing to add to this part of the map to make it different from the old one um, and that's right I'm talking about part of the map because the the expansion that I am proposing is um, it's all to do with the three bridges to the north of Edinburgh that you can't access at this point in the game um, if you look up here you can see them and they obviously go off someplace up north I think that'd be a really cool place to expand, and this is what I am proposing. Now it looks, this just looks like a mess for now, but I'm going to go through and explain everything that you see here. Okay, so the map, as you can probably tell, centres around this big thing here in the middle. Now this is Loch Lomond. Now 
um, I had a choice here, I could go with Loch Lomond or Loch Ness, they're two huge lakes in the north of Scotland, um, but I thought Loch Ness might be a bit, you know, we've all seen it, and also it is massive in comparison to Loch Lomond, so trying to recreate that would be difficult to say the least. Um, uh, whereas Loch Lomond can stay more to its original size in-game, uh, size and shape, I mean. So, uh, yeah, I, th I thought that would be a really cool idea. Um, as well as that, in my map, um, there are also two mountain, well, mountains, uh, large hills. I mean, if you look down to the southwest of Loch Lomond, you'll see something called Ben Lomond. That's a real mountain. Um, and then there's one over to the sort of northeast area that is just uh, something I added in. I just feel like more elevation around the map would be, would make for a more exciting experience. And then I forgot to mention as well, well I should have stayed on topic with the locks. By the way, a lock is what a Scottish person calls a lake, if you didn't know. Um, there's more than one. There's a fairly large one over to the over to the west, um, and then there's two smaller ones, and then of course, Block Lomond, as well as some islands to explore in the middle of the lake, I don't know, I just like exploring, especially that barn find on Derwent Water in winter for the Range Rover, I loved that, I feel like, you know, when it's winter you have a, you, you have pretty much the entire map to explore, um, so moving on, um, there's a lot of fast roads here, I mean, coming up from the bridge, uh, you have a lot of options, you have a nice coastal road going up the east side up here and then you can head back south around the bottom of the mountains over to the west um, over to the more hilly area of the map uh, you can go straight up the middle uh, up the side of the lock which I think is cool as well and, you know you have lots of other roads intersecting between it's it's a Forza Horizon map I think it's sort of just the same sort of thing you know you have the big main roads and then you have the connecting roads and then of course you have the tracks. There are a lot of tracks here, well, probably not as much as there could be, but uh, you can probably notice that there are two hill climb um, courses. There's one here and then there's a much larger one here. I loved the sort of hairpin hill climb thing in Glen Rannock in the main map of Falls Horizon 4. I'd love to see another one. Um, and then there's loads of other ones, you know, you've tracks here, here, everywhere, and uh, you may also notice there's some little dark green patches, those are trees or forests, I love forests, I love Lakehurst Forest, exploring that, all the little tracks that I even marked, it's just so much fun, um, and we might as well talk about the elephant in the room, um, what's that on the top right in the northeast, well, that's a place called Helensburg, now that's a real place, um, actually, every single Pretty much every single part of this map is a real place. Um, you know, it's a small seaside town. Um, it's got, you know, generic grid-aligned streets. Um, and I think it'd be a really cool place. Uh, it could have a couple of houses there. You know, it could have a manor and then a townhouse. Um, there's a couple of piers as well, which, like, as in, you know, a jetty, which aren't marked on the map, but I think that would be really cool. Um, so yeah, that's a small town. It's not. It wouldn't be nowhere near as big as Edinburgh, but it'd be, you know, more compact. So there'd be probably just as much to explore here. And then if we move down a bit, you'll notice this strange area here. Well, the thing is, in the UK, pretty much anywhere that has any sort of naturistic value or somewhere you'd stay, you'll find a caravan park. They're full of these sort of long green cabins that you can stay in and that's what this is and I think that would make for a perfect playground arena you know just imagine playing affected it's sorry infected not affected um running through the sort of tracks between these caravans you can't see where your opponent is he can't see you it's just I think it's a really cool idea that's um in the Louis holiday park um I don't know there's probably other opportunities for playground sort of uh, playground arenas in this map, but I think when I saw that it was coming to the UK, Falls Rise and Fall, I thought, man, they should put a caravan park as a playground arena. They never did. I think this would be a really cool opportunity, and they should definitely do it. I'd love that. I would love that so much. Um, and then if we move over to the left of the map, uh, we have another small town. This would sort of be the same size as... Broadway um, or Ambleside, uh, it's called Inverary, once again another real place, uh, a little lockside village, um, yeah I guess that could be a playground arena if you really want to try and stretch it 
fairly small. Um, and uh, although this doesn't have much meaning, uh, there's a little crack behind the town, and in real life, uh, as well as in game, there's this watchtower up on a, a, um, a hill behind the town. Now, they should definitely add that in, that'd be really cool. I would absolutely love to drive up to that. Um, and then also we have uh, this black line, that's the railway line, because, as you know, in the main map, uh, you can't go... Th it goes into a tunnel, sort of at the after the viaduct, and then you can't go any further. Um, well, it emerges here, um, you know, and I'll, I'll just detour for a second. Basically, this map is an extension of the original map. It's not, a, you know, it's not like Blizzard Mountain or uh, Fortune Island, a completely new place. Now, this will be an, issue, an addition, um, so you'd have to change some things, of course. You know, you'd have to add in access to the bridges, um, so on the bottom left, it's not completely accurate to how it is in game, but you'd probably have an access road from Glen Rannick. And then, of course, um, an access road through the train tunnel, which currently you can't access, it just teleports you back. But if this this uh, expansion came to fruition, you would be able to drive through that tunnel underneath the big mountain and out into this new map. You know, it's just different ways to access it. I think it would be really cool. Um, so yeah, just quickly, just to visualise what I'm trying to say, here's a little topographic map I made, or sort of a relief map, just to show you now the darker area, the, the lighter areas are lowland, and the darker areas are higher, so as you can see there's two prominent dark areas down here, this is Ben Lomond, and then of course that other hill south of Helensborough, you know, I just love relief in a Falls Horizon game, it just adds more to it, I feel like, so... Yeah, that, that's just sort of to visualise what we have here. Um, but yeah, that is the map um, that I've thought of now, of course. It, technically, yes, it doesn't really add too much in terms of uh, new mechanics or scenery or anything like that. Um, but I feel like it could be worked on. This is just a basic idea. I just wanted to put my idea out here. I've, I've had that idea for quite a while now. So... Yeah, that's my idea for a brand new Forza Horizon 4 uh, extension to a map. You know, we've never had uh, an extended map before. You know, we've never been given a map and then have it extended in a game. I mean, I don't think Storm Island was. I, I've not played Storm Island in quite a few years now, so I can't remember if that was separate or not. But that's what it is here. It's an extension, and I think it'd be quite cool to, you know, have an even bigger map. Um, of course, you can go too far and have that that is too big. But I feel like adding it in these little chunks over time just allows you to explore it more. And yeah, that's my uh, thought for what Expansion 2. Not what it will be, because I can 99% say um, in confidence that that's not what the expansion is going to be. This is just what I would like to see. If I had, if I was at the reins of designing and building this uh, brand new expansion in Forza Horizon 4. This is what I would make. So, yeah, um, tell me what you think it will be in the comments. I believe there is an, an announcement for what Update 9 is, and many people actually believe that we're going to get uh, the Expansion 2 announcement, so that could be any day now, but please still do tell me what you think and uh, what you think of my expansion. Um, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while for any of you who still watch this channel, but um, I will try and upload more regularly. I've got some exams coming up, I've got driving lessons and stuff like that, it's right boring, but um, yeah, I will try and be, I want to try and make better videos here on this channel, so um, yeah, thanks for watching this video guys, and I will see you next time, thanks for watching.